Hi guys, my name is Philip, and you're watching my week six assignment for the introduction to music production on Coursera.org. Today I'll be showing you how to set up your equalizer plugin in your DAW to look like a standard um, channel strip on a mixing board. And I will be using Ardor as, the, as my DAW and use the Kauf plugins and the Kauf equalizer uh, to set it up. And as an example, I'll be using the legendary SL4000G um, for the channel strip. So let's go ahead and uh, look how to set it up. Okay, here on the left side I have a, uh, an example from the m m user manual of the mixing board. And basically we have two parts. One is the filter part where we have a, a low pass filter and a high pass filter. And then we have a four band EQ uh, that has a high frequency section, a high middle frequency section, low middle frequency section, and a low frequency section. So when we open up the, um, the plugin, uh, on the left side we have a high pass filter and a low shelf filter. Then we have four parametrics that we can turn on and off. And then on the right side, we have a high shelf filter and a low pass filter. So here, the low pass filter um, is set from uh, 3000 Hertz up to 20,000 Hertz. And if we uh, turn it on, um, it shows us the curve and where it will cut the frequency. Um, and we can we can move it around and then uh, it's going to cut the frequencies and the curve shows us where where it's going to be cut and we can even set up uh, for how much 12 decibels per octave of or 24 decibel per decibels or 36 decibels per octave um, the manual doesn't say um, whether uh, this um, filter is 24 decibels or uh, 12 decibels per octave. So I'll just leave it at 24. Um, then we have a high frequency section, uh, which the user manual says that it's a high shelf filter. And um, so we're going to turn on the high shelf filter. And uh, the standard range uh, goes from 1,500 hertz to uh, 16,000 hertz. And uh, we can move it around here. Um, and um, okay, that's it. That's it for the high frequency uh, stuff. Then we have the high m middle frequency uh, thing, which introduces uh, a knob, the Q knob, that can uh, adjust the bandwidth of the uh, EQ. So we turn it on, and uh, just to show you what it does uh, when you <coughs> boost the frequency or when you cut the frequency it shows us what the curve looks like of the EQ and by adjusting the this Q knob um, we can widen or make it more narrow okay but we'll leave, uh, we're gonna leave it at 1.5 for now uh, then we have the low um, middle frequency range, uh, which goes from um, 0.2 or from 200 hertz to 2.5 or 2,500 hertz. Uh, so let's put it down here somewhere. Um, and then we have the low frequency section, which is basically a um, uh, low shelf filter. So we're going to turn it on. Uh, that goes from uh, 300 hertz, no, from 30 hertz to 450 hertz. Um, and then we have the high pass filter um, that goes from um, 350 hertz and cuts the frequencies to zero. So that's it. That's how you set up a standard um, um, channel strip from the legendary SL4000G. 
Uh, now I'm just going to show you how to uh, set it up to uh, have um, to have a standard um, to to make it as a standard setup for your um, for your mixing uh, endeavors. So we can just go to add if you don't have the the preset set and just type in a name. Uh, but since I already have one. I just click save and it's going to save uh, this preset to my SL4000G and now I'm all ready to go uh, to put them on my uh, various uh, recordings. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, that you're going to be uh, uh, effectively using this in your mixing endeavors. Bye.